Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing um, a totally different video. This is going to ba be based on um, m the two last races I did for cross country. It was the state and the national meet. And if I'm too loud, I'm sorry. And of course, again, if I'm too quiet, I'm also sorry. I can't really help that. And I will be talking a lot. So uh, let's get straight into it. Well, before, right before my state meet, I actually had to wake up really early and go to a marathon to watch someone finish. And um, that, I was pretty tired. It was like 7 a.m. And yeah, that was fun. And then we stayed there for a little bit and then and then we started driving for about an hour and 30 minutes to go to my state meet. And that felt like a while. But then we stopped at Panera, you know, 10 minutes in. And when I was in there, all I had was a good old blueberry muffin. And then, of course, I finished it. And then there was the drive. That was a pretty long drive. I was in the back. Other people. Other people. I did carpool. Then I got to the beach. We parked so far away. Pretend that that lines the car. The tents were over here. And this was part of the, the court. And... You know, it went over here, there's a road. The car was like right there. And then the starting line for comparison would be like right here. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty far um, away, if I were to say. So, yeah. And then I got there, like, I think it was an hour and 30 minutes early. So, I was just talking to my friends. We were all talking. And then it hit me. About 30 minutes before, we started practicing in like, uh, like a, a grass area. And here is the tent. And we saw the kid, the eight eight year olds running before us. You know, we were doing our regular A skips and stuff. And then about 15 minutes before. When I went there, we started walking over, and then there was just so many people lined. I think I was like about right here, and then I thought it was like 10 minutes, but it was actually one minute before the race, and then the guy said, on your marks, set. And then, Q. We all started sprinting, but it was a false start, and I was so glad 
because I was like 40th in that sprint. And so everybody was tired, so that gave me a good start at the beginning. So when we started this time, I needed to sprint way harder. And then I was actually second at the beginning of the sprint. And then I went, you know, kind of a little far back into the pack, like 10th. And then, you know, one fourth the way through when we were just about to get into like the forest part. I was right here, that's the forest. So right here, there's people ahead of me. I just started passing and passing. And then, you know, we kept running and then I'm not gonna go through all that detail. The final end course, it was a hill down and then a really like small stream and then a really tall hill up. And I saw someone jump over something and that was the stream I didn't know at that time. So I was confused. And then when I got there, I just jumped over it and then I bolted. But of course, um, I still was in fourth place. That's what I was at the end. And my time was 11.48. That was my best time yet. And I was pretty happy. And also, I beat one of my goals for the year. Top secret, though. And then, now, time to go on to the nationals meet. That drive felt like forever. I had nothing to do in that drive. And then we got there. It was rows and rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of cars. Yeah, there was rows and, and rows and rows of cars. And it was raining. And I didn't bring a coat or anything. Or, like, I did bring a coat. And then I brought pants, but I took them off right before. That was a big mistake for not just keeping them off. On. And then I also brought no gloves. And since it was raining and so cold, I basically froze. And I'll come back to that. We started practicing, and our practice was the walkover, because the walkover was really far. And that was like the start. When I got to the start, it was really like long, and then it was also tall, like, because we like stacked up. Like, we were in divided, and then I was, like, in the front of one of the stacks. And then there was the guy with the cannon. Pew! And we all ran. I was, like, second. And then I saw him going, like, like you know, crossing his arms like this, like, side and side. And of course, me being really dumb, not knowing what to do, being really cold, I thought he meant a redo. But it wasn't, and I stopped. And that was a huge mistake. That put me back to, like, 40th place, and I was so cold. And then at the very end, I slowed down, and three people passed me. My time at the end was 12.03, not, it was okay. And I couldn't find anybody. And then, I couldn't feel my hands. I, like, I could barely, like, everything was just going horrible I I it was so cold I had no gloves like I couldn't find anybody and then someone found me and they brought me back but I was cold and I did not like that and so I left because I was so cold 
and didn't get a trophy or medal because I left too early. Well. Hey guys, if you liked that video and you want to see more videos like that, hit that notification bell so you see more videos and you get notified right when it happens. Also, like, like this video and subscribe. Don't forget, hit that notification bell, like this video, and subscribe.